Hey, it's Big T. Today I am going to tie a soft hackle pheasant tail, but I'm going to attempt to use a technique in tying this fly mainly to show you how you can take a hackle feather that's typically too long for that fly and make it the right size. Hungarian partridge is a very popular feather for our soft hackles. However, it's difficult to find good feathers that will distribute enough fibers around creating that front end soft tackle that aren't too long for our small hooks. I had a customer ask me where I could where he could find those feathers and I didn't have an answer for them. So we're gonna try this technique. Hopefully it's something that'll work well for you. So here is a size 18 jig hook with a two and a half millimeter copper bead. And this is your typical Hungarian partridge feather. So if I take this and, and what I'm gonna do is take some hackle pliers. See if I can do this in a manner that shows on camera. And if I grab just the very tip right in the center of that and stroke these fibers backwards, I'm going to pull them away from the very tip end of that and get them moving over here. So I've done that. Traditionally, we'd be tying this end at the end of the fly up front in that direction. But we're going to do things kind of backwards here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tie it in with the stem pointing towards the bead. I'm coming the opposite direction. And once we get that good and secured in, I'll trim off any of the excess here. And we're going to go ahead and start hackling this almost 10 care style. Ten care, ten cara, potato, potato. And wrap this. We would like our feathers or our fibers to be going towards the bead as we wrap. They don't always cooperate. If they don't, then I'm probably going to force them to go that way. And the ones that don't, I may end up ultimately trimming off. But I think I can coax them in there. All right. I'm going to come over top of that stem, trapping it down as well so that I can trim it off. And then I'm going to wrap that thread over top towards the bead. Over top of this feather. I would like to try and keep those little fibers spread out around that hook bend. That actually looks pretty good there. Okay, so that's what we got. Looks like a Tinkara Tinkara fly. Wrap back to the back of the bin, and at this point, I'm going to take a couple, say four or five strands of pheasant tail, and I'm 
going to tie that in on the tire side of the hook which will allow that to rotate over and end up on the top of the hook. That tail may be a hair long so I'll just grab and slide up a bit. Tie in front a couple times and then grab some copper, small copper wire here. Again, tying that in on the tire side and wrap forward to right behind our hackle feather. I'll take my pheasant tail fibers first, wrapping forward. And I'll stick my finger here just to make sure things don't go anywhere. A lot of times I'll use the rotary feature of this vise. Not everybody has that capability. So we'll do this manually. Coming over top and trapping those a couple times in front and then I'm going to trim. Notice how I put the uh, scissors around that high and slid down before cutting. That ensures I'm not trimming off any other fibers sticking out that I don't want trimmed. Alright, wrap our copper wire around and secure. And I like to use a pair of junk scissors to trim that off and at this point we're going to start moving our soft tackle fibers backwards and wrapping our thread in front here. Now you can dress this up a little bit more maybe put a uh, peacock hurl behind um, that soft tackle to create a collar and a lot of times to make sure that these fibers stay back I'll take a, just a tiny bit of ice dubbing that's a pheasant tail ice dubbing and come around up front and a little bit of your favorite head cement I love the little brush on zappa gap man that does the trick for me. Wrap that in and whip finish a few turns and I am good to go. Oof, that'll come out. There we go. Not sure how well that knot ended up, but usually with that zappa gap it doesn't matter as much. Alright, trim up the thread there and we have a size 18 soft tackle Pheasant tail, again, that, that feather would have extended way beyond the tail had we not done that. What you want to do is measure that hackle feather first. Determine how much, uh, how much length you need to take off of that and start hackling that down the hook shank that exact same length. That will remove the distance from that feather uh, and the length that you don't want so that you can tie it appropriate to the size of the hook. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my channel and you can find these materials and more on my website and store. Big T Fly Fishing. Thanks so much.